Hello there guys, and welcome to this episode of Go Inkscape. Today, I've got a really neat trick to show you guys that involves Inkscape's new Power Stroke feature. We're going to be drawing mustaches. The first thing you want to make sure you have is the newest Inkscape, which is version 0.91. Go ahead and get that open, and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do to draw our mustache is select the Spiral tool. Now up here you'll see we have our values. This is the special combination we'll be using for our mustache shape. The turns is 0.9, divergence is 2, and inner radius is 0.18. Now go ahead and select the screen and draw yourself a mustache. Now you can hold control to lock the angle as well. You see that's actually a very good start for the shape, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Now what we need to do next is go to path and path effects. The path effects pane will open up over here to the right. Now go ahead and click the plus icon. What we want is power stroke, so select that and click add. You'll see it changed a little bit, but to see the magic happen, we're going to have to select our nodes tool. So go ahead and let's zoom in. You'll see these new pink nodes. That's the power stroke. Go ahead and drag this one, and you'll see that it creates a very nice looking tapered line, which is great for our mustache. So go ahead and adjust this to taste. Something like this should do, maybe a little more here, there we go. And what I'm going to do is change the start cap over here and change it from round to zero width. Now what that's done is created a different cap over here which will allow us to add a sharper edge here to our mustache. That looks great, I'm going to do that then. I'll zoom back out and here we go, we have our basic shape. So what we need to do now is color it in. So go to object, fill and stroke. Go ahead and add just a black fill, should be just fine, and remove the stroke. So now what we can do, with our mustache selected, we can go up to path, object to path. What this does is convert our power stroke into an actual object. So we can select the nodes tool, and we see all of our nodes here. The thing I wanted to address is that sometimes you can find some of these jagged spots, like right here, and usually there's a node that's the culprit of the problem. You can actually just go ahead and delete that and it already looks a lot smoother. I'll go ahead and just try to delete this one too. You see it doesn't do anything too damaging to the fundamental shape. We'll try deleting that one. Yep, looks good. And there you go, we have a smoother looking mustache. We can actually go ahead and adjust some of these nodes too to make it look a little more realistic, a little more mustache shaped. Something like that should be just fine. And once you have your mustache all fine tuned, you can go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate control and drag to move it to the side. And now we can head up to this flip icon and we can flip our object horizontally. Now go ahead and hold control again to drag it up and there we go. There's our mustache. Looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna go ahead and export this and see what it looks like. Remember, we don't just make videos, you can head over to GoInkscape.com for daily tips and tutorials exclusively for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.